I I tried to hold my breath there for a second. It just instantly, I wasn't able to. Ooh, still, shout out again to that dude that told me to hold my breath. It helps. I really appreciate you. Oh. Oh. But uh, welcome to uh, the second best day of the week, Arm Day. We, uh, oh, oh, oh. I'm going to do a little uh, appreciation thing for all the people that be posting. So... Dude, that instantly popped to my mind. Matthew, I think his name was. He's been po I mean, he's been commenting close to every single uh, video for months and months and months. So, Matthew, I really appreciate you. I'm gonna pop up a. Uh, I'm gonna pop up a picture of your thing. A little shout out. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, good. <laughs> Fact of the day or whatever I'm calling it. We'll see in the future. But shout out to Elon Musk for teaching me this. Apparently he tweeted it. It was a friend of mine that told me. But he said that antidepressants are two times, I mean, sorry, that working out is two times more effective than antidepressants. So, go up to all your friends and family that are on that shit and tell them to stop being stupid and start working out. It's way more effective than mind-altering drugs. Why are you going to take stuff that you don't need to? I've never been a huge, like, pill popper. Uh, shout out to my mom for that because we grew up, like, I grew up, there's nothing, like, I don't, like, I wouldn't take ibuprofen unless I got an injury because then there's benefits to the ibuprofen. But, you know, never, she never allowed me to do any of the stupid, normal things that people just think are acceptable, like take antidepressants so big shout out to mama all right first meal of the day well bam we got some eggs chicken and rice all mixed together I, I i don't really weigh out my shit anymore because i know that there is about 50 grams of protein in here if it's a little less a little over whatever i don't need to be exact but i know there's about 50 grams of protein in here so good thing we are hitting that mark as you know i try to get 200 grams of protein in a day makes it super easy four meals a day 50 50 50. you know what i mean i am about 185 this morning so i only need 185 or 140 if you go off the 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight but i don't do that that's bullshit. and i still go for that 200 grams because i like knowing that I have my protein in. But uh, yeah, that is it for the first meal. So I'll see you at meal number two. All right, we are on lunch break. What bam Shout out to my mom for the 45 grams of protein worth of pork tenderloin and then mushrooms with cheese in it. Fancy, I didn't know that was a thing. But um, with that cheese, I think I'll be like, I don't know, close to the 50 gram mark. So that's cool. Big caveat though, I'm not a huge mushroom fan. So I don't know if I will be eating the mushroom. <laughs> if I like the mushroom, I'm, I'm gonna eat it. But if I don't like it, then I'm just gonna scoop out the cheese and because it's extra protein. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for meal number two. So I will see you probably at the workout. All right, I'm gonna be going quicker than normal. I wanna get out of here as fast as possible. 
but uh so we're gonna be doing a little less rest time because i just yap too much i just talk talk to everyone talk to the camera too long it's fucking annoying it makes my workouts way too long so since i'm getting out of trying to get out of here quicker shorter rest time like i was saying and that means a little less weight on like once we're more fatigued but that's fine at least to a bigger pump Someone that watches my videos came up to me and, whew, sorry, I'm out of breath. They came up to me and said that my tip about having your arms out a little bit more forward whenever doing curls, said that it changed their, their bicep routine, changed the game. So saying that once again, keep your arms out a little bit forward. I promise you, you feel it more on your biceps. My earbud had died almost instantly. So I'm using one earbud. Super annoying. One of the worst things, more worse than world hunger, worse than anything of the global warming, whatever you want to choose. Only thing worse is your earbuds dying during your workout. It's a new level of pain. the dumbbell curls three sets many reps as possible same thing as everything else we're doing here I wish I had access to 25 pound dumbbells but they are both being used so we're sticking with 30s because I don't want to do 20 that would just be annoying so hopefully some 25s open up 
before I'm done with them. Before I'm done with the dumbbell curls at least. And then we'll grab those. those 25 so bad actually I'll do something else I guess we'll do drop sets saving a bicep exercise for last like we usually do for biceps well arm day in general but I don't know I'm just really feeling biceps at the moment I just want to get them smoked get them done out of the way so we're doing the preacher curl one of my favorite bicep exercises hands down it's amazing because it's a constant tension you're not fighting gravity like free weight same thing as I say every time for Preacher Girl. Yeah. <laughs> 
no enough wraps. Pop that a little bit. Do a few more. So I had to uh, go deal with the customer and the machine I wanted to use, well was using, is now gone. So, whatever. We'll use this weird one. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yes sir? Yo, I saw your videos bro, I actually really like them man. Really? I really appreciate that man. 247 I think it was? Or wait, no, not 247. To be honest with you, I don't even know what day I'm on currently. 227. Yeah bro, like, I saw the thing with Bartram did. With Bertram? Yeah, Bertram. yeah. That's my guy right there. Yeah, bro. Little 2,300 Honda Accord. $86 yeah. a month for that hoe. That's good shit, bro. Uh-huh, uh-huh. got a classic man. Its name is 2009 Honda Accord for some reason. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Interesting name, right? Yeah. A class pet, you say? Yeah, it's a Twinkie. It's a it, it, Twinkie? It's two years old, a Twinkie. The food, bro. Oh, that's not they a pet. They don't decompose. So, and we put that shit in our body all the time. You seen those videos of like, um, what's it called? Of like the McDonald's burger or some shit like that that's been laying out and then it looks the same like 20 years later. <laughs> 20 years later, Ooh. it out of the seat. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, so I eat that often too. I hope it just don't pass this through though, you know? Yeah, we just pray and be like, just be ignorant about it, right? Yeah, we'll find out later, right? We'll yeah. when we get to it, but yeah. for now, I'll, I'll regret it when I die from it, you know? Yeah, I'm talking again. Mm-hmm. It's nice to me. I hope you don't mind, but that was on that was on video, so you might be in the in the vlog. Oh no problem. Alright. Yeah. Awesome. Alright. I got the machine I wanted back. Thank the Lord. two triceps starting with the push down same thing as always start with a push down just because you want to warm up the elbows don't want your elbows being shit after years of working out heavy as fuck not really paying attention to your joint health and then you're like ah I can't move I have arthritis so always start with a push down never an overhead because of that reason but I'm doing this thing 
where normally I'm like, as long as my arms are by my side, like that's all I really care about. But now I saw this thing where like you're supposed to have your elbows like this far back. So I'm, I was trying it out for the warm up. It hits good. It hits really good. So I'm gonna do them like that. See how it goes. All right, dips, three sets, as many reps as possible. I like my triceps movements to be a little heavier comparatively to my biceps. Biceps usually respond better to the higher reps. Triceps usually respond better to lower reps. So something I stick by. Ooh. The only thing that I don't make like crazy light most of the time is my barbell curl. Because uh, I don't know, I like that. I like the idea of that being my strength movement for biceps. So that's the only caveat for me. But when I say that, I, that doesn't mean never try out higher reps for triceps and lower reps for biceps, or maybe for this exercise, higher or lower. You know what I mean? Try it out, see what you like. Not everyone's the same. But for me, that's my general guideline with how to set my weight for my biceps and triceps. I'm trying to keep my elbows in a little bit more for dips. That's uh, something that I've struggled with for a while. Not really struggle, like for, let's say, overhead extension, for example. This is very uncomfortable. Like, I can't really have my elbows in all the way. So I'll have my elbows out like this. And that's okay. I mean, it's fine. 
I'm just trying to, for this, I can keep my elbows in a little bit more. So I'm gonna try and do that. But, oh, but because of that, I have some lighter weight on here compared to normal. Only a 245s and a 10. Usually I'm putting three plates on that bitch. But I feel it pretty good with this weight. So we're gonna stick with it. Sorry about that. Lights turned off. I finished my set though. I'm probably gonna like cut the video whenever it goes black because why would you wanna watch that? <laughs> Just that little change of like making sure that my elbows are extra tucked. That's killer. If you see me doing three plates in the future, I'm totally ignoring form. I mean like, they have their place. Like, it, it's good to go heavy every once in a while. Kind of ignore form. Don't get hurt while ignoring form. That's what I mean. Cause it's good to get your body used to that type of weight. If you're always doing the same weight over and over, why would your body ever want to go up? Your nervous system isn't primed for that, like all that shit. So I do condone a little bit of ego lifting. Probably, this is just me thinking about it off the dome currently, but the best way to throw in ego lifting would be to like, not all of it's ego lifting, but you throw it in here or there. Like, let's say on chest day, I usually start with a incline barbell. If I wanted to throw up like a little extra weight on there and then just kind of throw it around every once in a while, that's good, like that's fine you're gonna get some benefit out of that. Maybe strength gains. Because if you're not getting stronger, you're not gonna be able to do more reps or add more weight. And that's the only way that your body can get bigger, essentially. Because if you're doing the same thing over and over, your body's used to that. Why would it get bigger? You need a you need a high enough stimulus for the muscle to actually want to grow. So if you're doing the same thing over and over, nothing's gonna happen. There was like a year and a half time period where I was doing the same weight all the time. Guess what? I stayed the same exact weight Maybe I got a little leaner while staying the same weight, but that was the same weight. There were no noticeable changes. So, start up in the weight, up in the reps, something. I don't know, like, we don't, I don't know you. I don't know if you're doing too many reps, not enough weight, or vice versa, or both. You know what I mean? You gotta figure that out. Uh.
Ow! All right. New variation that I tried last arm day. Over, cable overhead extension, cable skull crusher. I'm not sure what you would call it, but the way that I'm doing it, if it was skull crusher, I would have it like right here in my arm at this angle. But since I'm trying to make it like an overhead, I'm bringing it as far back as possible. So I guess it's an overhead. I'm just trying to make sure that I feel it in that long head because the long head, say it with me guys, I say this all the time because it's the most important part. The long head is the biggest part of the arm. Completely, it's the biggest part, biggest muscle. So wouldn't you want the biggest muscle to be very developed? Yes, you would. So how do you do that? By putting it in a stretched position. So overhead work. Overhead work is the most important period. <sighs> Camera died. Oopsies. Had to get a new battery. Narcissism. Ooh, you hear that echo in here? I could be like a fucking opera singer or some shit. Hey, horrible voice, but that sounded like it sounded right. Right? Rate my singing. One out of perfect, and you're amazing. Eight. That's the scale. Holy shit. That's gnarly. <laughs> oh my god, I love being leaner. This shit's crazy. How's the forearms looking? Ugh. No forearm pump?
trying to get the lighting. The two lighting spot, spots are on opposite sides of the mirror. It's not directly in. That's kind of annoying. What the fuck else is there? Quarter turns for any of you that know bodybuilding. I want to do all of them. Oh great, didn't charge this battery either. It's about to die. Fantastic. All right, next meal. We got Greek yogurt. They were out of the vanilla, bruh. I've never tried the strawberry, but whatever. Oh, did that say light? Okay, good, I didn't get the light. So 70 grams of protein, 700 calories right there. So that puts me at 170 grams of protein. Then we'll bam. Fair life, this puts me at 196 grams of protein. So we are chilling on protein very close to that 200 gram mark. Now, this is a serious offense. I'm gonna trigger a lot of people. I might get canceled, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Yellow and orange starbursts are my favorite. I know. I know. Don't kill me. I'm so sorry for the people I offended. But apparently Ice, you know Ice, this brand, they make the Starbursts. So I got a yellow and orange one because I obviously have to try that one because yellow and orange, sue me, they're my favorite. I don't care what any of you say. They're the best. Um, for any of you that have been to high school within the past like I don't know, 15, 20 years or so, you know what ice is. I loved getting those, those things in, uh, in high school. Take all my money, people. I love those. I'm trying to stop cussing as much. You know, I didn't really realize how much I cussed until editor Seth, um, his, he was getting a new rig. It's like three and a half K worth brand new PC but he's custom building it and his laptop broke so it's uh he has to wait for all the parts to come in and then certain parts didn't work blah 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 so I've been editing um if you guys notice a difference I don't know if I if you guys like my editing better then we gotta demote editor Seth I'm just kidding I'll just tell him hey do better I don't want to get rid of editor Seth. That's my boy. I've known that motherfucker for like forever. Like eighth grade or something like that. I'm not sure. But love you editor Seth if you are currently editing this or if it's me. But. Um, oh why was I bringing this up? Oh yeah. So like I'm trying not to cuss. I didn't realize how much I did. So. If it looks like I ever just pause, more than my normal pauses, because sometimes I'll just sit and think in the middle of a sentence or something like that. But if I look like I pause and it's abnormal, it's because I'm trying not to cuss. It's a, I didn't realize, holy crap, I would have said shit right there. Well, it's, I'm able to say shit right there in that situation because I'm explaining it. But I didn't realize how much I cussed. And I am so sorry to all the virgin ears that have been hearing me. I cuss like a sailor, just like my mama. Love you, mom. <laughs> Not to call you out. You know, with everything, like I really didn't have that many carbs today. I'm honestly surprised. Like, oh, hold up. Sorry about that. Had to put the directions into my maps. That would have been bad if I was just randomly driving. But yeah, I 
I'm surprised that I performed so well today with such little carbs. It's very good to know. I mean, I had rice as the first meal, so there were carbs there, but everything was mostly meat. So I'm honestly very surprised with how well I performed. Thinking back at it, there was times like on the preacher curl where I could tell I couldn't like really get as many reps as usual, but like all things considered, I did pretty well. So I'm very happy about that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna go for a long rant for no reason. I'm just gonna make this a little shorter video. Overall, it's gonna be shorter. I don't, I feel like I haven't done as many, as many clips and shit. So you're welcome to all of you that hate how much I ramble and babble. So uh, yeah. That is pretty much it for the video. We hit 3.8K subscribers today. Thank you so much for that, guys. Um, if you guys want to help me achieve YouTube glory and fame, please like, comment, and subscribe. That would be really appreciated. But other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow for legs. Choo.